Hi there folks, my name is Novawing24 and uh, today I'm here to present a little tutorial on how to get a little cool little neat little extra for Microsoft Flight. Now for those who've been flying in flight for a while you probably already know that we know about uh, the FS widgets um, GMAP uh, little tracker there. So essentially um, Microsoft Flight didn't have a very good GPS in it so well it had GPS just yeah let's face it it was rubbish. Um, so the guys over at fswidgets.com actually came up with a cool new little widget um, that you can actually integrate with Microsoft Flight. Now it does have a slight drawback in the fact that it doesn't allow you to run flight in full screen mode. So there's some nifty little guys out there um, who have actually come up with a cool little workaround so you can actually still get your full screen experience and still have your FS widget on a second monitor. So for those of us who have uh, said multiple monitors, it's a really cool little thing to do. So it's going to be a quick little tutorial video today on how to set all that up. So let's uh, get started here. So first off what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to jump over into the FS Widgets website. So fswidgets.com. If you just go to downloads here then what you can do, you can actually you'll find this page here, scroll down a little bit and then where is it? There it is. Uh, GMAP for MS Flight 2.1. So this is a, a pretty cool little thing. Um, it's freeware. Um, yeah, and as I said, look, it's free. It's tiny, two meg. Just grab it. It is awesome. Um, so once you've downloaded that one, there's a couple of extra things that you'll need to do to be able to do this um, a second monitor setup. So the other thing you're going to need. So head on over to the AV Sim library. Um, so the AV Sim library, just do a search for full screen. Now it'll pop up with you know, a few results, but the one you want is going to be on page four, and it's going to be under Flight Simulator 10 Utilities. So we're looking for sudo full screen dot zip. Now what this one has here does is basically it's a little um, hot script that allows you to master your Windows and F11 key to maximize and minimize Windows. So yeah nice basic little thing. So of course what you need is also you need the thing to actually enable the auto keys, um, otherwise this script ain't gonna work. Uh, so what you'll need to do is then jump on over to www.autohotkey.com. Nice and simple for everyone isn't it? Um, so again freeware down, download, grab this, um, tiny, runs the background, really awesome thing to do. Alright, cool, so that's that. So once you've downloaded all three of those files uh, here we are, had it prepped and ready to go here. Haha, <laughs> I did actually prepare for this video. Uh, so once you've downloaded your three files here, so your auto hotkey install, your FSG map MF, uh, MSF21, so 2. version 2.1, and your sudo full screen.zip. Now simply all you need to do, the auto hotkey one is just, yep, just run the installer. Uh, it'll take a few seconds, it'll install the script and it's basically just a JavaScript just kicks you around in the background. Uh, apologies to any computer programmers out there who that's not correct information, but eh, huh. It does it for me. Uh, next, what you need to do is you just need to then uh, extract uh, the FSG map uh, utility. Uh, so this one doesn't really require any installation. Um, once you go into it, all it's got in there is these couple of files. Essentially, this is the one you actually really need. So once you've extracted that, uh, and in the sudo full screen dot zip, once you ex just extract simply the full screen dot ahk file just there. What I have, once you've got all those done, I've got a little directory um, where I keep all of my fantastic little widgets and stuff, uh, where I always keep my FSX installs going on. Uh, so in there, all I did was I popped the flight widget, so I put a new folder there, just put the FS widgets GMAP EXE in there, and I put a, a full screen .hk, so that's the little auto key hop script. Alright, so we're installed, we're pr almost ready to go. So a couple of uh, housekeeping you will need to do first though. Um, so I've linked these back to my desktop so I can quickly easily enable them there. The other thing you'll do is you notice the taskbar, it's hiding. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to make sure that you have set it to auto hide otherwise it doesn't work so well. Alright, so we're nearly there, we're nearly up and running. So the first step what we need to do is before we fire up uh, Microsoft Flight, we're going to run the fullscreen.ahk shortcut. So we're going to run that now. It doesn't seem to do anything, uh, but in the taskbar it will pop up a small little H to show that it is actually running. Uh, that's coming from my primary monitor, so we won't be able to see this in this little one at the moment. But trust me, it's there. It appears a little little green, green and white H, so the white H and the green background. All right, so we've done that part. Cool. 
next step is going to be to jump into Microsoft Flight. Alright, so let's get this one underway. Now the first thing is, is that we're going to be jumping into Microsoft Flight. Now if you haven't already, set it to windowed mode. So essentially what the uh, hotkey script and um, uh, the utility that allows you to do is do, uh, as, as the zip file said, it's a pseudo full screen. So it takes a game or it takes a program, doesn't have to be used for games, but it takes a program that's in a windowed mode and then maximizes it and draws it as if it's in full screen while the computer still thinks it's in windowed mode. Yeah, taking a bit of time to connect to the service today, isn't it? Alright, so once you're in, as I said, just make sure you go down to Options and just make sure that full screen is unchecked. Okay? Alright, now here comes the, uh, the fun cool part. So, to make it uh, the full screen mode, uh, the default the script sets it up as Windows key and F11. And there we are. After a few moments, it'll pop back, and there we are. We now are seeing it in a full screen, a pseudo full screen, so it takes up my entire monitor. Now, what I can then also do is I can switch back over to here, and I can start up my FS uh, Widgets G map. So I'm going to fire that one up, and while that fires up on, you now initially it will pop up on top of here, but you just sort of slide it back across. There it is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, accept those. Let's uh, set up. Oh, sorry, a very important thing. I forgot to do this one. So I know most of us probably don't fly with the HUD on, um, but in order for this to actually link correctly, you do need to at least start with a heads up display turned on. So we're going to make sure that's enabled as well. Alright, okay. So let's, uh, let's get started. Let's pop on over to. We'll go to uh, PATK. All right, let's start on that one. So we're going to uh, jump in our aircraft. So one eight, runway one eight, take off. There we are. Now, once that's loaded in, we'll then go back to our widget and we'll actually tell it to link to Microsoft Flight. So it'll take a few moments. So you can think of this section as uh, a bit like a bit like doing your pre-flight on your aircraft. So as uh, as everything's getting ready. We'll then stand by and then we'll uh, start turning all the electronics on. Alright, so we can see I've got a beautiful uh, P-51 there uh, sitting waiting on an Alaskan runway. Now we'll switch back over to our FS widget and we'll tap the GMAP button. So it'll then go, yep, recognize and connection to MS flights established. So it'll take a few moments just to load. Uh, this draws on the maps from Google Maps, so hence the GMAP part of the title. And it will load in, and there we are. We are in. Ta-da! So what we'll do now is we'll switch back into flight. Now I'm going to quickly take off, and you can watch the little aeroplane uh, as it goes through there. So, all right, get some uh, flaps down. Oh, press the wrong button for a second. There for a second, and fire up, and let's go. So you can do that as you just keep an eye on the uh, on the map there. We'll take off. You can see it starting to move. So it keeps it up now. The reason why you have to have the heads up display on is simply because um, just due to the peculiarity of the way it's written, um, it will actually need that HUD in order to establish uh, directional information. Otherwise, you just get a airplane that doesn't change direction as you do. So you see, we've got a Nice, nice little uh, representation of aircraft flying over the uh, the frozen wastes of Alaska at the moment. And look, there you have it, folks. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, it does have a cool, nifty little feature there um, with flight planning. Uh, so, if you do have uh, FSX as well, or something like uh, and something like Plan G, or if you've loaded a flight plan uh, through FSX before, uh, you can actually grab those flight plan files and you can load them into flight. So another cool nifty little thing as well to do. So what I might do is I might quickly just uh, 
pause this one and we'll jump back over to FS Widgets. Now there is a little bit of uh, of extra background work here which I won't go into. Uh, you do have to do a couple of settings in there but there's a very good uh, little readme file uh, in there so it's definitely worth doing. But once you have got it done you can actually then click on flight plan. Uh, so you basically you've got to tell it where the flight your flight plan directories are. And go through here. You've got a, a few there. Do, do, do. So there we are. So what I can do is I can load that flight plan in here. So again, it'll map it all on there. I can close that window now. And ta-da! It now shows all my route maps. Now, unfortunately, I can't slide too much because uh, it does sort of keep the map, uh, has to keep your aircraft in view. But I can follow the pink little line like I do. So I'll jump through here. So I can follow the pink little line just as you would normally uh, for when you're doing in FSX. So yeah. Well, folks, um, I hope this uh, neef, neef, neat, quick little tutorial is going to help you get even more out of your MS flight experience. Um, again, a bit of a shame that uh, production is not, uh, has been stopped, but hey, you know what? We can still enjoy it, and we can still get even more out of our flight. So if you are thinking of uh, getting a bit more experience, or you want to want a bit of a helping hand when you're trying to do some of those uh, some of those clandestine missions and you don't really know where the airports are and you want to make sure because you can't go into the map screen and stuff like that this uh, tool is sure to help you well folks thanks very much for watching my name's being Nova Wing 24 um, I'm gonna pop the links to all of these little um, bits that you're gonna need to add in in the description below um, I hope you do uh, enjoy using this one and I hope this really does help you get even more of the MS flights experience. If you are looking for some uh, great people to fly with as always a uh, short little plug to the team the crew over at msflights.net uh, they hold uh, regular uh, flights in MS flight as well as FSX so I look forward to seeing you all there. Alright folks look thank you very much take care safe skies to all and we'll see you next time bye for now